revive your team. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. As every Wednesday, it is time for me to give you guys my predictions on what Zero is going to bring this Friday for his exotic gear set. So if you like any of the content you hear today and you would like to stay subscribed and up to date on everything about Destiny, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. I will be covering Rise of Iron like crazy when it comes out. So everything you need to know about that will be posted right here on this channel. But with all that being said, guys, let's get right on into my predictions. Now, unfortunately, I'm all out of weapons to wager, so we're not going to wager any more weapons this week because I don't want to have to lose any more of my beloved weapons, like my longbow synthesis. Um, yeah, we lost her last week, and I don't really want to lose another one. So, with that being said, guys, we're starting things off this week with the Titans. Now, if you've been watching these predictions every week, I don't know what is going on, but every time I predict something, it comes the week right after I predict it. Not the same week, but instead it comes the week right after. So last week he brought the Takanaut, which I did predict two weeks back. So this time around, I think I'm going to switch up my prediction style a little bit and hopefully be able to get some of these right. So this time around, guys, for the Titans, I think you guys are going to be getting another helmet. I think you guys are going to be getting the insurmountable Skull Fort. Three opponents down. Now this helmet is mainly focused around the striker subclass and will actually grant you immediate health regeneration upon kills with your storm fist. Now I believe that perk is already on the skill tree so this perk isn't exactly exclusive to the helmet but it will allow you to run uh, other crazy builds because this one already grants you that perk. So if you're already pretty set with the helmets you have or the build that you have, this helmet's not really going to be all that great for you but if you don't have it I would definitely buy it just to add it to your collection because it will come in handy sometimes depending on the build. So next up we've got the Hunters. Last week you guys got Young Ahamakara Spine. Those are pretty amazing gauntlets and there's actually some of my favorite gauntlets to run when on the Hunter. Now this time around I think you guys are going to be getting the Knucklehead Radar. Now this helmet is pretty underrated but it does actually grant you third eye on while aiming any primary weapon. Now it only works on your primary weapon but it's pretty amazing because you can actually use no land beyond and still have your radar on even when aiming down the sight. So this thing is pretty underrated, but if you're running the tracker perk on Night Stalker, this thing is pretty damn unstoppable because you can pinpoint exactly where someone is even while aiming down the site. So if you're someone that's really good at looking at your radar and just likes to run tracker a lot and you're really not too sure on what to run for the helmet, then that's one that you really want to, might want to consider because the knucklehead radar is pretty underrated, but it definitely does get the job done. Now before we get into the next prediction guys, I just want to say big shout out to OBJack25. He actually started up his very own YouTube channel just a few weeks ago, so definitely go to check him out if you want to. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down in the description, and I do play with him quite often. He's actually a member of the clan as well, so definitely go show him some love at some point guys. But with all that being said, let's get on into the Warlocks. So last week you guys got the Starfire Protocol. It's a pretty decent chess piece, and honestly I think you guys are going to get another chess piece again this week. So with him selling the Starfire Protocol just last week, he actually has not brought the Alchemist Rainment in quite some time. I believe this week of time around he will be selling the Alchemist Rainment. Now honestly, I wouldn't even really pick this up unless you're a PvE player. It doesn't really have any PvP applications, in it, but it does look really, really nice. So if you're someone that really likes to just look, to make sure their character looks really cool, then definitely be sure to pick that up. That thing is actually pretty damn amazing looking. And it can actually be used pretty often in PvE because it will grant you additional glimmer upon killing certain enemies. So that can actually be pretty nice if you want to farm some glimmer sometime. But other than that guys, it's not really all that great. It just looks really awesome. So finally guys, we do now have the weapon. So he sold the super good advice last week. It's pretty damn useless for the most part. A lot of heavy weapons nowadays are pretty useless with the nerfs and stuff. Unless you're a PvE player of course, but I do like to basically focus around PvP mostly as I'm, I have a slight trials of Osiris addiction. But with that being said guys, this week, I think he's gonna bring us something decent. So hopefully, he actually does get back on the tra train of giving us some decent guns because Super Good Advice and Dragon's Breath really don't cut it for me and they don't really have any PvP application whatsoever. So this time around guys, I think he's going to be selling the Invective. Now this is a pretty amazing shotgun. Now it's not exactly the best and I don't think it's necessarily better than the Party Crasher, but it does regenerate its own ammo. So it's kind of like the icebreaker of shotguns in, in a sense as it's one of the only guns in the game that can actually regenerate its own ammo. So I would definitely consider picking this thing up if you don't have it and trying it out. The range on it isn't exactly the best, but it can compete quite well because the fire rate is pretty damn good. So so long as you're really close, you're pretty much going to tear through about any enemy that you find. But it won't really compete too well with a party crasher's range. So before you guys go guys, I do want to talk to you guys about the Legacy Engram. So this time around last year was one of the only times that Zer has ever sold the Gallahorn. He literally brought it one time the first year that the game was out, like the second week before anyone even really knew what it was and no one ever picked it up and it, that's why it became so rare and sought after after that day 
because Zerd just never sold it. Well, this week is actually the one year anniversary of the second time that he ever sold Galley, so it is a very strong possibility this time around that he may just bring the heavy legacy engram. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. If he brings that legacy heavy engram, I would definitely be sure to make sure you buy that thing and try to get the Galahorn as soon as possible before Rise of Iron comes out. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Remember to be sure to leave your predictions in the comments below. I definitely like to read through those and see who gets those right as well. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.